Only Local 10 News is speaking with a survivor of a brutal hammer attack. He was doing laundry when police say he was ambushed by a murder suspect on the run from Boston. Local 10's Rosh Lowe, live with our one and only exclusive Rosh. It is absolutely incredible that this man can even speak. Think about what he went through just days ago, Friday evening, hit time and time again with a hammer over his head, bleeding profusely. But he says he wants justice. I think there's something wrong with this guy. I've never seen him in my life. 56-year-old Rizvi Saleh speaks to us from his hospital bed. I got hit by a stranger and I had a lot of blood. And it's just incredible he can even talk after being hit time and time again over the head with a hammer. He's surrounded by family in the hospital. This is his son. He's in terrible condition. He's constantly asking for me and my mom. He was brutally attacked Friday night while doing laundry in his Miami Beach apartment. I want to see you in Massachusetts. Christopher Keeley is wanted in Massachusetts for a double murder of an elderly couple, and now he is suspected in what can only be described as a bloody, disturbing, and vicious attack. He hit me uh, without any reason. I, I don't know why he hit me. Miami Beach police believe Christopher Keeley is responsible for this brutal beating. They caught him a short time after the attack. I was lucky. I thought I was dead. I thought I was finished. He's a coward, you know. He attacked from the back a man that's doing his laundry. He's, he's, he's old, he's 56, you know, he's tired, he came from work, he's a coward. He, he needs to be in jail and he needs to pay for his sins because my dad didn't deserve this. But even with such pain, there is hope. The Miami Beach community has truly rallied around this family since Local 10 first aired this story. To see my phone and, you know, with the GoFundMe that, that, that's constantly ringing and saying, the, you know, that they, they prayed for my family and I've received so much you know, warmth and acceptance from the community. Yeah, pretty amazing. Almost $10,000 has come in since we first aired this story yesterday, and now we hear from Rizvi himself. He's a fixture here on Miami Beach on 41st Street, working at a market here for years, and the family really needs a lot of help. He was the main provider for this family. If you want to help them, go to our website, local10.com. We're live on Miami Beach. I'm Rosh Lowe, Local 10 News.